Hey everybody, happy Monday. I am here today for your new build Monday update. And so I've got a few things to talk about today. One of them is gonna be about this extreme cold temperature. So if you're living in a new build home and you're having some issues that you're finding because it is minus 40 degrees outside, stay tuned, I'm gonna talk about what we can do. I'll share with you some tips and things that people are saying to do, but maybe you shouldn't actually be doing. Um, so real quick here, every week we update you on our neighbors in terms of what's going on. And you know last that I talked about that they are they all set it up. And Curtis was shoveling the snow the other day and found out their possessions the end of March. So they are nearing the end of their home. Um, they're finishing up the texturing, the mudding, taping. Then the kitchen cabinets are going to be going in, paint, flooring, tiling, all that kind of stuff. So things start to wrap up pretty quick. Now, in terms of the new build inventory update right now, we were taking people out to look at homes for new builds. There's not a whole lot of inventory left for sale that's ready to take possession in the next two months. So if you're looking to move into a new build home for the summertime, there's still properties. Now you shouldn't wait till summer because it's probably gone by that point. You can actually look at them now. Um, we can look at some show homes or some floor plans and get you into those homes because if they're ready for possession in uh, summertime, they're already in the ground as of today and they're already working on them. So let me know if that's something of interest and I'm gonna go right into this extreme cold temperature home maintenance tip. So I'm gonna share with you a screen and so you can see what is going on in the new, like for your house. Cause I'm sure you're wondering what the heck is going on with my, um, what with my house, why is my windows all wet? So do your windows look like this? I took a picture, I saw a picture online here. This is very normal for a new built home. You don't need to freak out. You don't need to think that, you know, the builder didn't do the right job. This is coming from humidity from your home. Um, and what you need to do in that situation is go and take a cloth and like wipe down all your windows. Some people are saying to turn your humidity down all the way. Turning your humidity down to zero is not necessarily a good thing. You have, if you have hardwood in your house, you need humidity to keep the hardwood from drying out and cracking. So I wouldn't necessarily um, think that you just have to turn your humidity down. Sure, the humidity coming down is gonna have less water on your um, windows, on our deadbolt. We've got water dripping down off our deadbolts as well. Curtis just took a towel and just wiped everything down. We've left our humidity the way it is because we still need humidity in the home. Make sure when you're cooking to turn on that fan. You can run your HRV as well to kind of get things moving and circulating and getting your home breathing. Um, but this is very normal for extreme home, extreme cold temperatures. We always have water on the inside. Just make sure you wipe things down, open up your blinds, because if you don't open up your blinds, you're gonna have that build up and then you're gonna have water sitting there. And if you don't clear it off, you're gonna end up having potential wood rot. And I mean, that's very extreme because that's if you don't clean it off and don't clear it off, but make sure you wipe down the surfaces that have the water. They're not gonna dry out and evaporate on their own. Check all your patio doors. I know our casings are starting to get ice on them. So you wanna make sure that you clear that off so that you don't have um, kind of deformed wood casings. Uh, so don't worry, it's only a one week cold snap. So hopefully that won't stay around too long. The other thing you want to do, I know that one of our clients had moved into their home and the hot water tank wasn't opening or working. The HVAC system, your hot water tank, your furnace system, make sure that it doesn't have snow buildup. I'll share with you a picture again um, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So if you take a look at this picture here, you'll see that this is the snow. Sometimes you'll see ice just flying down. Make sure to clear that off so that you can have proper functioning. It'll actually probably trip your um, furnace and hot water tank from working if you have ice just hanging down. So just make sure to knock it off. Be careful so that you don't rip off plastic or anything like that, but make sure you clear that out. So venture outside, take a look at the side of your house, look for those exhaust pipes and make sure they're cleared off. Um, and don't turn your humidity down completely because it's very dangerous. Even if you don't have hardwood, you still have things in your home that still need humidity. We just don't need that much. And after this week is over, you'll notice your house will be back to normal. I know that we heard our house cracking and shifting and moving. And it was kind of scary, but that's what happens when your house dries out from this extreme cold. So that is my 
um, Monday new build update for you for your, if you live in a new built home, make sure that, you know, you understand this because new homes don't have the ability to breathe as much. That's why HRVs are so important. Um, older homes have, they're just a lot of air escapes. And so there's, they have a little bit more breathability, but even in this extreme cold temperature, I guarantee you there's also humidity building up on those windows as well. Um, so if you're interested in knowing about what's going on for discounts for new builds, the discounting, there's some builders that are still doing some discounting, very minimal, especially from this last year, I've seen a 4% change. A lot of builders are also not going to negotiate on price. They are pretty stuck on their home price. I've seen that twice this last weekend. If you're not going to give them full list, they're just going to wait for the next buyer because there's, they know there's a high demand. There's very little that's open right now for homes that are ready to move into. If you're looking to build a home, they will give you still some sort of incentive, but also it's kind of limited because there's, again, high demand. There's not a whole lot of lots right now. I know there'll be more lots released in the fall of this year, but there are some good lots that you can still grab right now. Keep in mind, lot sizes are quite normal to be 24, 26 pockets and the zero lot lines at 22 and 24 pockets, much smaller than we're used to. Um, if you're looking for 20, 30 pocket, you might not be looking at Edmonton. You might be taking you out to Spruce Grove, to Leduc, to Sherwood Park. Actually, Sherwood Park's all booked up. You've got to go to Ardrossan. That's another thing. If you're looking, Ardrossan's actually not that far from Sherwood Park. And I was talking to one of the sales reps that sells out there, and they have a significant difference in price. You can get a 30 regular pocket lot and 40 regular pocket lot, not even an estate home. So if you're looking for something that's a good price and you want to live close to Short Park, and but you don't want to pay those Short Park prices, let me know because we can connect you um, with our draw send. Sounds far away, but it actually isn't that far away. Um, so if you have any other questions, make sure you comment below. Thanks again for watching and we'll be back next Monday. Hopefully the deep freeze will have ended by that point and we'll talk to you about what's happening in the new build market for spring and what we should anticipate if you want to get into that new build market. Talk to you guys later. Bye.